I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will consider composition of function and its domain and range. I have taken the same example with which we had been working. The example is that function f of x is given to us as x square minus 4 and g of x is x plus 2. In another video we considered combination of functions which were addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. These were the operations which could be done on same domain. Now we will consider composition of functions. So when we say composition of functions, the functions could be f of g of x, uh, it could be g of f of x and it could be like f of f of x, right? Or it could be g of g of x. These are all composition of functions, right? So in this particular video, we'll consider the first two, right? Now, let us find what is f of g of x. Let's begin by that. So when we say f of g of x, it really means we'll start with the inside function. That becomes the domain of this whole function, right? So g of x. g of x is x plus 2. So we could write this as f of x plus 2, right? Now f of x plus 2. f of x is given to us as x squared minus 4. So x will be replaced by x plus 2. So we get x plus 2 whole square minus 4. You get an idea, right? Now, from here, we can find domain and range of the function, right? So uh, we could actually expand, simplify. So x, let us expand. You could also factor and solve, right? You could factor this and then then get your factored equation also. But let me expand and simplify. We get x squared plus 2ab, which is 4x plus 4 minus 4. That is x squared plus 4x. And this could be simplified as I can take x common. So we have x plus 4. Right? So that is how we could simplify this function. And that is f of g of x, right? That is a composite function. Now, it's a good idea to kind of sketch this function. Let us sketch it. Let's make a small sketch here. Basically, it means we have two x-intercepts, one at 0, one at 4. So let me just sketch one function here, kind of like this, right? And at uh, minus 2, we expect minimum. And therefore, let us find the value of function at minus 2, right? So, so that is to say, when I put x as minus 2 here, at minus 2, what do I get? So that is f of minus. Uh, let me call this composite function as h of x, right? So we'll find, uh, we'll find the value of h of minus 2, right? So that is, I'll write minus 2 for x. So minus 2 times minus 2 plus 4, that is indeed equals to minus 2 times plus 2, which is minus 4. So this value is minus 4 for us. Now that helps us to find domain and range of the function, correct? Now from here, we can write down that the domain is all real numbers, it's a parabola, right? So domain d of x is x belongs to real numbers, no restrictions at all. But as far as the range is concerned, because this vertex is at minus 2, minus 4, range is y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equals to minus 4. You get an idea. So that is how we get domain range of this particular function. Now you can actually pause the video and solve for g of x. g of f of x I should say, right? So uh, you should do that and then look into my solution. So what I will do now here is solve for the second composite function which is g of f of x, right? Let me call this p of x equals to g of f of x. Okay. Just as we did earlier, we could write this function as g of f of x is x squared minus 4. So the idea is to replace x with x squared minus 4 in g of x. So it is x plus 2. So instead of x, we'll write x squared minus 4 and then plus 2. That gives us x squared minus 2 as our function, right? Now, x squared minus 2, you could graph and then write domain range. 
so that will be a parabola shifted two units down right so I could sketch this function as a parabola which is shifted two units down correct like this so that is minus two now from here we can write domain and range of the function right so the domain in this case is x belongs to real number there are no restriction as far as the range is concerned we have y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to minus 2 correct so that is how actually you can easily find this particular functions domain and range now I'll prefer that you do the next two which is f of f of x and g of g of x on your own I'll do this in a different video to provide you a solution and a link of the same will be provided in this video. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.